they had said that they were going to open, I think, six libraries um, around the county, which is, you know, 25 percent of the facilities, just not enough. Um, you know, libraries are not being used for homeless shelters. They're not being used for, uh, you know, providing vaccinations. You know, they're just sitting there. What does this say about the county's reopening plans in regard to equity when we look at the fact that libraries are not fully operating still? I just don't think we're planning to provide an equitable recovery when we aren't opening libraries. We're allowing bookstores to open, libraries are closed. A lot of people have lost work that may or may not be coming back. And those individuals need to be able to get access to computers, to work on their resumes, to do research and find job opportunities to connect with our workforce teams. And that's a big part of what our libraries have provided for a long time. That needs to be open. You know, it's, it, we need to let people have access to those kinds of critical services. And the county executive said he, they're not open because he doesn't have the staffing to open them. Well, Do you know this to be true or what's your response? Well, I think that is a little bit of an obfuscation. I, I think they haven't finished their staffing plan to get it reopened. There's nothing particularly different about the Montgomery County library system or employees than other library systems in the region. You know, they just haven't figured out how to put it all together yet. What have you heard from your constituents about the fact that libraries are still closed? What have they been saying to you? Everyone is in a little bit different place about their comfort zone. And that's okay. You know, I think everyone will take things as it feels safe to them. Um, but there are a lot of people that would like to be able to take their kid to browse the, the shelves and it's safe for them. From property taxes and government changes to what happens with the Purple Line or how schools are talking about reopening, subscribing to our channel is the best way to stay informed of what goes on in Montgomery County.